Hello, my friends. Ahsoka the Geek here. Shaky camera. And uh, for this review, we are going to take a look at the new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman the White Knight Batmobile. So this is a McFarlane Toy Store, online toy store exclusive. I ordered it, pre-ordered it a few months ago. It arrived like actually two weeks ago now. I apologize. I'm getting to this review uh, kind of late, but here it is. Here is the White Knight Batmobile. And man, it's been a rough year if you're a Batmobile collector, as there is just such an abundance of Batmobiles. We have the White Knight Batmobile. Uh, we also have the Tumblr, which I just received as well, which I'll be reviewing shortly. And um, I guess that's only two Batmobiles. But there's rumblings there could be more Batmobiles coming from McFarland Toys. So a lot of Batmobiles in our future. But I guess the timing of these Batmobiles, I literally got this one like a week and a half ago. The Tumblr showed up a couple of days ago. It's a lot of Batmobiles. But again, it's a great problem to have because I love Batmobiles. I guess the problem is though, where do I put them all? Anyways, that's a me problem. So here is the White Knight Batmobile in the box. Pretty basic packaging. There's like, I think a 3D rendering of the, the White Knight Batmobile. There's the side of the box, the back of the box, basically just showing how the canopy works. There's some um, artwork on the, on the top, which I really like. And then that's about it. It's pretty basic. Oh, here's a little bit more artwork here as well. Uh, there's the, the comic book version of it. And then there is Batman in the Batmobile. It's funny they went with that uh, variant uh, for the promotional picture. But what can you do? So here it is. So let's go ahead and get this guy out of the packaging. And let's take a closer look. All right. So here is the Batmobile outside of the packaging. And wow, what a good looking Batmobile. I am such a huge fan of this design from Sean Gordon Murphy writer artist of the the white knight curse of the night white knight the the white knight beyond i love the whole white knight franchise it's been fantastic or, or book series i should say so yeah to have this batmobile in plastic form like this is just such a treat and again huge fan of the design i'm just looking at it it's got like kind of an old school like you know 1940s look to it but also a little bit of the keaton-esque uh, Batmobile to it as well, as well as Batman the Animated Series. He's like combined so many elements to create this Batmobile. Now, how accurate is this Batmobile to the source material? Well, here's the box art right there. I don't know, honestly, if this is right from the comic books or not. To me, this looks like the one I remember from the comic. I could have grabbed the comic, but... Uh, you know, I, I did it. So I'm just basing this off my memory. Obviously, in a comic book, it's going to be drawn. Well, maybe not differently because it's basically the same artist drawing it. But for me, this looks like the Sean Gordon Murphy Batmobile. And, you know, this is what it reminds me of. So I think they've gonna done a good job of translating the art to plastic i'm sure there's other videos that will go into a deeper dive showing the differences but for me this works for me this looks like the the curse of the white knight batmobile love the back of that the, the lights look at that just, just so lovely but anyways yeah let's spend a few moments just kind of admiring this beautiful hunk of plastic so here it is there's the wheels you see how they spin there there's the engine there is again the back of the car which i kind of already showed it looks awesome and it just looks great. It looks like a very beautiful Batmobile. So here is the button right there to pop the hood open. There is the trading card that it comes with. And then you can see the inside of the Batmobile there. Uh, so now that we've taken a look at the car itself, what do I think? So again, I love it. I think it looks fantastic. It looks like the, the Batmobile I remember from the comic. A couple of things that I would have liked to have seen a little bit differently. Just some paint. It would be nice if it's painted. Obviously, everything here is molded in the, the plastic color, so nothing's painted here. I think if you just add a, a layer of paint to this, it would have just looked so much more snazzier. You know, again, I, I understand that there's a lot more cost involved with that. Um, but that's the only thing I would say I would have liked to see. Just a paint, a coat of paint on this would have done a lot, especially around like the engine and things like that. 
But, um, you know, that's my only complaint with this. It still looks fantastic. I love it. But, uh, yeah, some paint would have been nice. Um, other than that, that's really the only issue I have with it. I do wish it was painted. But um, the, the sculpt of the car is just... It's just beautiful, in my opinion. It just looks great. It looks like it stepped out of the comic book. Now, as far as if you can get Batman... Oh, look, I have him handy for a change. In the Batmobile, Bill, yes, you can. So he does fit in there. The only thing is, for him to really fit in there, he does. You do. it will bend his ears a little bit. So once you take him out, mine got bent, the ears... I haven't fiddled, fiddled with it much, oh, sorry about that, more, but it is bending my ears. I'm sure maybe if I put a little bit more effort into it, I could get him all the way in without it bending his ears. But suffice it to say, you can get him in to the cockpit there. Uh, but yeah, there it is. There is the, the White Knight Batmobile. I do have the Spin Master Batmobile handy as well. So obviously this is not a one for one comparison. This is not a fair comparison because you know the one on the left is explicitly the White Knight Batmobile. That's what they they're calling it, and that's what it's based on. The Spin Master one, I don't believe they ever referred to it as the White Knight Batmobile, but obviously they took the design cues from that Batmobile. And this is obviously made for like four or five inch scale figures. But just that'd be fun to show you these two side by side. Obviously the one on the left, the McFarlane one wins um, hands down it's just a beautiful looking batmobile the spin master one's cute as well but uh you know it's just a, a toy that was more inspired by the batmobile versus uh inspired by the um white knight batmobile versus being you know kind of just based on it a little bit there i don't know what i'm trying to say but you know what i mean but this is still pretty cool but i still definitely love the white knight batmobile i just give you a size comparison i don't have the 89 batmobile handy just going to knock my camera again there but i do have the bat raptor so there it is next to the bat raptor so just give you a size comparison there i, I am also about to open the tumblr so if you stay for the tumblr video you can see how this looks next to the tumblr but there it is uh but yeah there is the white knight batmobile from mcfarland toys not too much more to talk about with this i love it especially love the silver the the molded silver looks fine looks great actually and the gold love the gold around the wheels but uh, oh i didn't even show you the bottom there's the bottom of it if you are interested but there's the bottom yeah my only complaint my single complaint would be i wish they had painted it uh, at all that would have been awesome uh, who knows maybe we'll get a painted version at some point or a variant of this i would love to see them do something else with this mold they've spent a lot of money tooling this so yeah give us a variant give us a jokerized version i know that's blasphemy but i think that'd be really fun to do just to mix it up a little bit um at last look this was still available on the mcfarland website for order if you have any interest in getting this, I would definitely recommend it. I'm sure in years to come, this might become a rare item since this is only being sold on the McFarlane website and no one else, nowhere else. So if you do have an interest in getting it, I would pick it up. It's a beautiful Batmobile. It's going to look great next to the other White Knight figures and, and whatnot. But there it is. There's a look at the White Knight Batmobile from McFarlane Toys. Thank you so much for watching. And have a great day.